Here we go. This is the last of them. You know, it was nice of Mr Jones to lend us his kitchen chairs for the party last night. And nice of Walter to lend his cool box. You know, we're lucky to have good neighbours. Here comes one now. Brace yourself. Morning, Stumpy. <laughs> Hello, Stan. <laughs> oh, thanks. You in a hurry? A hurry? Oh, oh yes. I slept in. <laughs> Is it still OK to borrow your ladder? Of course. It's in the barn. Help yourself. <laughs> I think I overdid it at your party last night. I, I can't believe I offered to help to clean Mr Jones's windows. What was I thinking? Uh, Stumpy, you sure you don't want me to take the ladder round for you? I'm going there myself after a stop at the garage. No, no, no. I, I, I'll be fine, thanks, Stan. Bye! Whoa! Yeah, that's it, Sparky. Hold still. <laughs> Easy peasy. Cheers, Sparky. Right. Now, the rain's coming in at the front here, so the hole must be... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this looks like it. There's a hole in my roof, dear Walter, dear Walter. Ah, it's OK, I'm here. Now we can make a start. Overslept, eh? <laughs> I don't know. I've been waiting here for ages and ages. And ages. All right, all right. I'm sorry I'm late. I must have overdone it last night. Aha! Hmm, it's a bit wobbly. Now up you scoot. Eh? Up, up. You want me to go up there? Naturally. I've thought it through, you see, and it's the best way. You up there, me down here. Mm, all right, if you're sure it's the best way. And you're going to hold the ladder steady. Hmm? One? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yes. Oh, up! Now, where did I put that new tarpaulin? Aha! Uh -huh. It's always in the last place you look. Right, let's get this lot covered up and tied down, then round to Walter's. Cool. <laughs> you should have been a builder, not a mechanic. You've done a lovely job there, Walt. Whoa! Hey, wait up, Nicola! I need to get... Down. Oh, no. Oh, this is no use. I can't see a thing from down here. I know. I'll go upstairs and then I can keep an eye on him from inside. Make sure he's doing it properly. Now, don't... Worry if you're stuck with no way to get down. Your building skills will be the talk of the town. Where you fix the roof, it's waterproof. So sing along with water and don't you frown. Walter? What? Oh, uh, yeah, hello down there. What are you doing? Well, um, <coughs> yeah, uh, I was fixing the roof and, uh, and now, well, I'm, I'm stuck here. You couldn't help me down, could you, Stan? I've been up here for ages. Oh, I'm sure Little Red Tractor and I can find a way to get you down. Good, good. Just the job. Oh, Stumpy, um, <clears throat> you've missed a bit. I thought you were holding the ladder steady. What? I said I thought you were holding the ladder steady. I can't hear a word. I said you missed a... Ah! Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, why do these things always happen to me? How are you getting on, Walter? Yeah, now that's got it. Uh, ready when you are. Right. Forward. Nice and slow now. That's it. Just a little further. 
Perfect. Hold still, little red tractor. We're all set here. You feeling brave, Walter? Brave is my middle name. <laughs> here I come, ready or not. Geronimo! <laughs> well, that was great. Thanks, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. No problem. You did the hard part. Well, now that I'm down all safe and sound, what can I do for you? I'll just pop round to return your cool box and this. You must have dropped it last night when you were dancing. My comb! Cheers! Hey, great party last night. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking good. I'd better get round to Beach Farm. I've got a few more things to return. Oh, could I catch a lift? Sure. Yoo-ho! Oh, what to do? Yoo-ho! Oh, who are you yoo-hooing? I was yoo-hooing you! Well, don't yoo-hoo. I'm trying to think. Well, you thought of a plan to get me down yet? No. Yeah, well, if Stan were here, he'd know what to do. Well, he's not. I am, and I need to think, so I'll require a little peace and a little quiet. Oh, no, that's all I need. Hello, all. Lovely day. Hi. I brought you chairs, but... Yo-ho! yo -ho, Stumpy! What's Stumpy doing up there? Well, um... Oh, no. Is that my ladder? Um, afraid so. What happened? Stumpy fell off the ladder and... I only fell off after you trapped my fingers in the window. Well, your fingers shouldn't have been there. You should have been holding the ladder. Whoa there, fellas. Um, shouldn't we be trying to get Stumpy down? He's right. The first thing to do is get Stumpy down. Ah, yes, well, I'm, uh, I've been thinking very hard, and there's absolutely no way to get him down, so he will have to stay up there till we can get a new ladder. But I want to get down now! Hold on. I think I may have an idea. We'll need that tarpaulin, Walter, and, um... Ideally, we need four people. This will never work. Sure it will. Have a little faith. There. Everyone set? Ready! Ready. Hold tight now. OK, Stumpy. Ready when you are. Oh, dear me. Go on, you can do it. Not sure he can, you know. Come on, Stumpy. On the count of three. One. Two. two three. Oh, here goes nothing. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well, hey! But I'll be... Are you OK? Uh, well, I'm fine. <laughs> no harm done. Well, except for the ladder, that is. I do feel a little bare, seeing as it was sort of my fault. So I'll get a new one tomorrow. That's very kind. Thanks, Mr Jones. Uh, thank you, Stan. And thank you too, little red tractor. Me and Stumpy would have been left high and dry if it weren't for the both of you. Thank you both. Oh, well, now I'd better get back to the mill. I was meant to be back in time for lunch. <laughs> Bye! See you. Cheerio! Yeah, we'll catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's your trailer attached. First on our list of jobs to do today is to check on the sheep. Ready? That's strange. I can't see the sheep anywhere. Well, come on. We'd better investigate. This is unlike them. I've never seen them all gather at this end of the field before. Maybe something has frightened them. Could be a stray dog. Let's check the hedges for any gaps. What was that? 
There's something there. I can hear it. Wait. I can see something. Oh, it's only a rabbit. Come on, let's look further up. Morning, Stan. Hi there, Mr. Turvey. I'm on the lookout for a stray dog. I can't say I've seen one and I've jogged the full length of the lane. About to do another lap, so I'll keep the old eyes peeled. What do you want a dog for? Thought you had a dog. What's his name? Uh, thingy. Hatch. Hatch, that's it. Hatch the dog. Uh, yes. But it's just that something has been frightening my sheep. Can't think what it could be except for a stray dog. Well, there is one new animal in the neighbourhood. It's quite something. Really? What? A llama. Mr. Jones got a new llama. A llama? A llama. Big white thing. Looks like a camel. Well, not a camel, but you know. Hmm. I wonder why Mr. Jones would want a llama. <laughs> Search me. Well, must run. Got to keep burning off the calories. See you. Come on, little red tractor. Let's finish checking these hedges. Ho, 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 ho. Wait till Stan sees the new addition to my farm. He will be so jealous. <laughs> Hello, Llama. It's only me, nice Mr. Jones. Now, how would Llama like a nice brushy washy then? There we go, nice Llama. Oops, a daisy. Just a little tangle. Maybe if I brush a little harder. There, there, nearly done. What did you do that for? Uh, hello? Up here, Stumpy! What are you doing up there? My llama attacked me! What's one of them, then? Oh, a llama is one of those! Oh, I see! <laughs> you can't be scared of this fluffy little thing! <laughs> be careful, Stumpy! He could attack at any moment! Hello, little chap. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? <laughs> He seems very friendly to me. Could you perhaps part with the llama for long enough to get me down? I'll have to call Stan. I don't have a ladder, see? Oh, I am going to look like such a fool. Looks like a stray dog may have got through the hedge here. We'd better get this gap blocked up. Hello? Hi, Stumpy. Mr. Jones? Stuck up a tree? I'll go fetch my ladder. We'll be right over. Come on, little red tractor. We have to go and rescue Mr. Jones. Oh, thank you, Stan. Thank you, little red tractor. So this llama of yours attacked you? Yes. I was giving his coat a brush and he spat at me. From what I know, llamas don't usually do that. And there's more. He then kicked me into this tree. I was told he was tame, but I think he's wild. I suggest you wash him down first. It'll be a lot easier to groom him when his coat is wet. Well, that's a good point. I always find it easier to groom my hair when it's wet. I see. Well, thank you all for your help, but I am sure I'll be fine now. Well, we have to get back and fix a hedge in Middlefield. Let me know if you need anything else. Now then, nice llama, it seems we got off to a bad start. So, how about a nice little washy poo, hmm? Ah, oh, that water has come out far too fast. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, not again, liar. <laughs> We were so close! Nearly a whole trip around the block without a breakdown. I say, Walter! Rusty, you can speak! Not the car, you fool! Mr Jones? Up here! Oh, hi there! Oh, nice day for a bit of tree climbing. Quite, but I am not tree climbing, I am stuck. Could you help me get down? No ladder, I'm afraid. Tell you what, I'll give Stan a ring. Oh, no. Well, looky here, a llama. Hello, boy. 
You're a lovely looking fella. Be careful, he's wild. Oh, you're not scared of a llama. He's so cute. Look at his little face. What's he doing? Walter, how about getting me down? Uh, yeah, excuse me for a moment. I, I need to call Stan. Oh, you'll like him. They've already met. I hope that'll keep the sheep safe. The trouble is, we can't be here all the time to keep an eye on them. Hello? Hello, Walter. Really? I see. We're on our way. You're not going to believe it, little red tractor. We have to go and rescue Mr Jones. Again! Come on, let's go! And I was trying to dampen his coat before I groomed him, but the water came out too fast. Came out too fast? Yes, the hose, you see, it was set to jet wash. Why didn't you use a bucket? No wonder the poor thing was upset. Look, Stan, I think you're right. I, I, I really don't know how to look after him. Everything I do seems to upset him, and yet he loves everyone else. I may have an idea that helps us both. How about I take the llama? You would? What do you need a llama for, Stan? Something has been worrying my sheep. Llamas make great guard animals, so I could keep him in middle field to look after the flock. The question is, how to get him over there? I have a horse box, Stan. You could use that. Little red tractor, are you up for towing the llama over to middle field? <laughs> oh, Stan, thank you. If there's anything I can do... Well, actually, you could tell me and Rusty back to the garage. Oh, very well. Seems like you've found a new friend, little red tractor. Hi, Stumpy. Hello, Stan. I just popped by to see how the llama's settling in. He's doing fine. He seems to like his new home. The sheep absolutely love him. And little red tractor has made friends, too. Welcome to Gosling Farm. <laughs> Are you going to give him a name? Hmm, good idea. What about Larry? Oh, he likes that. <laughs> Welcome, Larry. Just thought I'd drop by and see how the little chap is settling in. As you can see, he's fine. Why not come and say hello? <clears throat> hello, Llama. His name's Larry. Uh, um... Hello, Larry. Oh, come on. He's not going to bite. <laughs> he hates me. Oh, no. No, Kitty. There, there. You're OK. Where did Mr Jones go? I'm not sure. Can anyone help me down? Oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need the ladder again. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a glorious day. Hello. What's that? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry. Are you OK? Uh, I think so. You were going pretty fast there. Too fast, I know. I, I, I'm very late, you see. You'll never get there if you carry on riding around like that. But you're right. It's just that I'm supposed to be presenting the prizes at the Babblebrook Gazette's awards lunch. I have the prize money and a change of clothes. <laughs> but I overslept. Calm down. I'm sure you'll make it on time. Take the road past Heronwood Lake. It's a shortcut. That'll get you there much quicker. Oh, Stan, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Take care now. <laughs> Another one! Come on, Walter, my son. Looks like I've got the magic touch. Well, I'm very pleased for you, but I haven't had a single bite all morning. Yeah! Well, when you got it, you got it! <laughs> I just... Bought another one. I know. Strange. Where did that come from? Hey, you call something. Well done. <laughs> Very funny. I just wish I could catch a fish. Just one. That's all. I've got a bite. Here. You have to. Well done. It must have been the hat. Not a catch all day and then this hat arrives. I make a wish and voila, a bite. Nonsense, it's a coincidence. It's an old hat, that's all. Here, I'll prove it to you. I wish 
I was rich. See? Nothing. <sighs> You're right. Shame, though. Just a minute, little red tractor. What's that? Oh, no. This is Skip's jacket. It must have fallen off his sidecar. He's going to need it for the prize giving. I should have the newspaper's phone number at home. Let's get back and I'll give him a call. Let him know we've found his jacket. Here, what's this then? Oh, people leaving rubbish in the countryside. It's dreadful. It's money. And a lot of it. My wish. I wish I was richer. The hat. The hat. It is magic. I saw it first. Wait, this is silly. We can share the act and we can share the wishes. No, 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 hold on a minute. In all the stories about wishes, you only get three. And we have already made two. Good point. You wished to catch a fish and I wished to be rich. Hmm, what a waste of a wish. Now, I wish... Shush! Don't waste it. We're going to have to be careful. Quite. And um, let's take the hat home, and then we can take our time to come up with one last good wish. Yeah! Something really fantastic! You haven't seen him? He should have arrived by now. I see. Well, I'll take a drive out by Heronwood Lake and see if I can find him. Bye! Oh, I do hope nothing has happened to him. He was in such a hurry. Yeah, uh, I'd like a large swimming pool, please. Yeah, yeah, in the shape of a guitar. Oh, you can? Lovely. Expensive? Ah, oh, yeah, don't worry. Money's not a problem. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to order a very big yacht, please. Oh. Well, have you got anything a little more expensive? Ah, that's more like it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take that one. My turn. I want to wear it. I found it, so I'm wearing it. Oh, stop! Give me that hat. Is it yours, Uncle Jasper? Well, yes. In a way. Can I wear it? No, no. It's a special hat, and no one is to wear it. Why can't we play with it? I was... Don't speak! Let go of the hat! Why? It's magic, that's why. Magic? A magic hat? <clears throat> this has to be our secret. This is a special hat, and we think it has one wish left. So we have to be careful not to waste it. Wow, can I wish for a bike? No. Oh, look. Wish I... for a swing. Oh. Can we wish for a computer? Quiet! No one is to wish for anything yet. We need to have to think. Now, I think you should go and play at Rose Cottage. I've got to go and see Walter. Oh, boy. Skip! Skip! There's no sign of him. Tire marks. And I'm pretty sure they belong to Skip's motorbike. We're on the right track, little red tractor. Come on, let's keep looking. But a swimming pool would be for everyone. Well, anyone could come and have a ride on my boat. I don't like boats, I get seasick. Okay. What about a wish for something we both like? I got it. Let's wish that I was a pop star. And how does that help me? Well, you could be my manager. We'd be able to have all we want, a swimming pool and a boat. That could work. Skip! Over here! Skip! Over here! Are you all right? Uh, oh, I, I think so. I, I was going a bit too fast and came off the road. Now, now I'm stuck. So I see. Oh, if I move forward, the, the bike begins to topple. And I can't go back either. We're going to need some help here, little red tractor. I don't think we can pull Skip out on our own. Oh! Oh! Oh, you do have a plan, don't you? Try not to worry. I'll call Walter and have him come over to give us a hand. So we're agreed. You become a pop star and I'll be your manager. Make sure you wish to be famous and rich. Got it. This is so cool. <laughs> give me the app. Don't make a mistake now. This is our last wish. Hold up. Hello. Oh, I stand. Really? Oh, I see. Yeah, that is an emergency. We'll be right over. 
Oh, what is it? That fella from the Babblebrook Gazette has had an accident on his motorbike and Stan needs our help. We'll have to make our wish later. Oh, no. Nicola's taken Sparky. And I left Big Blue at the farm. Never mind. We'll take Rusty. Do you think that's a good idea, Walter? Try not to move, Skip. I'm still as a statue. Where are they? We're going to need another rope and Sparky to help us. <laughs> Stan! I don't think we have a lot of time. But your car always breaks down. Not always. Thank goodness you're here. Right, back Sparky up. And no, we'll... Sparky, I'm afraid. We came in my car. But Little Red Tractor will never be able to pull Skip free on his own. <laughs> This is a real emergency, Walter. We may have to use the hat. You're right. It's a sensible thing to do. Don't worry, Stan. We won't need Little Red Tractor or Sparky. Why? We have a magic hat. Stand aside a and we'll... A magic hat? This is no time for games. This is an emergency. You found my hat. Your, Your hat? A hat? You didn't find a silver briefcase as well, did you? The briefcase? Mm. Yeah. We found it. Can I get some help here? I think we may have been a bit foolish. That yeah, isn't magic. Stan! We'll have to try and manage alone, little red tractor. You'll need to pull with all of your strength. Let's go! Heave! Hurry! Come on, little red tractor. Just a little bit more now. <gasps> Good. A bit more. Oh. Well done, everyone. Oh. oh, how can I ever thank you? Oh, and you found my hat and briefcase. Oh. oh, what a relief. And your jacket. I found your paper and they're happy to wait for you, so you don't need to rush. Thank you so much. And well done, you two. Thanks for your help. What was all that about magic? Oh, nothing. There's no such thing as magic. Oh, I don't know. I can think of one little red tractor who is definitely magic. 